shade rich and the shade okay what is giving luxury it's giving it's giving hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is dominique if you're new here please make sure that you are subscribing to this channel and don't forget to like this video if you liked it okay bet bet we got it you okay cool i know i know it's getting it's a little weird first and foremost i just want to say happy new year i hope that your new year is starting off to a great start if not i'm only hoping that it gets better and you should do the same. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup and sharing with you all a life update. I'm really excited to be sitting down in front of this camera again. I wanna make sure that I am producing the best content out for you all and making sure that I'm showing you all who I really am and I've been doing that, but I just wanna continue that vibe, you know, that energy. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and start off by priming my face using the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. All right, anyway, so let's give y'all an update. Last y'all seen me, I did an H&M haul. Listen, Linda, listen, listen. The H&M haul was so much fun to film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, but then after I filmed that video, I... What's that noise? I went home to Palm Beach. My face is a little dry. Why? I After I filmed that video, I had went home to Palm Beach. Now, after filming that video as well, I did film other videos. And I planned on... Oh my gosh, my face is like peeling what is up with this we're gonna have to make this work after i filmed that video i went home to palm beach and the plan was to film videos prior to me leaving to palm beach and edit them while i was in palm beach and upload them while i was in palm beach so i didn't miss out on any uploads that was the plan that's what i did as far as filming the videos now when i went home my laptop wasn't recognizing the sd card so at that point, I was just like, you know what? There's I, there's no way for me to be able to film here. I don't have like a, a, a designated filming area or filming space. It just, I just didn't feel motivated to film. So I told myself, you know what? As soon as you get back to Atlanta, you're gonna go ahead and start filming. And that's what I'm, I'm currently doing at the moment. So that's why I've been away. It's because I went home for the holidays and I came back to Atlanta and now I'm here in my space, ready to film for you all, ready to give you all videos, content, okay? I'm, I'm excited, so let's do it. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty Hydration Foundation in the shade 440. I love this stuff. I think it's so good. Moving right along, let's talk about my job. Let's talk about my career. Let me tell y'all, <laughs> the first few months of my career were not fun. They just weren't. I'm gonna be so honest with you. Most of it had to do, oh, you gotta do your makeup, girl. Most of it had to do with the people I was working with versus me being away from family and stuff like that. Like me being away from family didn't affect me. Like that wasn't that wasn't what bothered me. It was the job itself and the people and the and the people that I was working with. So I felt very alone within my first oh my gosh, within my first few months of working at my job and I felt like I was incompetent. I felt like me doing the littlest of things, I could not get right. In hindsight, it wasn't that. It was the it was the people or the person that I was working with that made me feel that way and it translated into my work. So, for example, my anxiety would run high whenever this person would contact me to do something. I just felt like I couldn't think properly because this person had already made me feel so low that it was hard for me to think straight whenever I was asked to do the smallest of tasks. You know, like, it wasn't me being afraid of this person at all, like, whatsoever. This person just made me feel like I wasn't, I wasn't smart enough. And then on top of that, getting into a field that I had no experience in, you could only imagine the imposter syndrome that I was going through, the anxiety that I was going through, the fears that I had when being asked to do something because the field that I'm in, like I said, I don't have any experience in it except outside of school. So I've never had a full blown job dealing with this type of stuff that, stuff that I'm doing now. So I just felt small, if, if that makes any sense. I felt very small and I didn't feel good. It didn't make me feel good. I hadn't realized how much it was messing with me mentally until I started working with other people. People. So now things are better. <laughs> I have a new team, a new everything, and I enjoy doing what I do. Like I like doing what I do. It is a complete 180 from the first few months that I had at the job. And I'm so eternally grateful for the people who have been in my corner, for the people who have been like 
riding for me and making me feel like no girl it's not you it's that person that person shouldn't be treating you that way this person would ask me to do something and i all i would hear in my head is a b c d e f g h g i felt so lost because this person gave me anxiety because every little thing that i did was not good enough in my head to this person i'm being transparent i'm just being real with y'all i'm just telling you all straight up and down how it is how it was for me but i do have a tip though even if you're new to a company if you're new to a job and you feel like somebody's treating you the wrong way they're not treating you with integrity they're not respecting you bring that up to somebody okay your words hold value regardless of how long you've been in a company regardless if you've been there for 10 minutes or 10 years either way it goes speak your mind say how you feel but also keep it professional okay no one know which battles to fight that's all i can say fast forward to now i feel supported i feel good when i go to work i'm not uh, dreading mondays like I used to dread Monday. Make sure that you speak up for yourself. Be your, you're your biggest advocate. If you are suffering, oh my God. If you're suffering, you're suffering from mesothelioma, mesothelioma, that's why I feel like I'm about to sound like, but if you're suffering internally and you don't speak up how you feel, nobody's gonna know. You get what I'm saying? You're going to suffer on your own. And you think people really care about how you really feel, especially if they're the ones treating you that way? Come on, girl. Let's be for real here. I think I done blended that out enough, girl, okay. Moving on to my highlight, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Camo, 16 hour camo concealers in the shade Rich, in the shade Rich Chocolate, I knew it, <laughs> and Deep Chestnut. Deep Chestnut is lighter than Rich Chocolate, so I'm gonna put Deep Chestnut closer to the inner parts of my highlighted area, and then use the Rich Chocolate on the perimeter of the brighter highlight, you'll see. So now that I'm back in Atlanta, I've been heavily, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I would highly suggest it, cause I'm big fun, it's always fun over there. Ever since I got back to Atlanta, my face still feels very dry. Before I highlight, I'm just gonna blend in blend in the foundation a little bit more with my sponge ever since i got back to atlanta i've been heavily focused on home decorating i've been so focused on it i love the process i love seeing everything come together uh if you are decorating your apartment your home i know it sounds very crazy for me to say but please have an idea because you 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 have to have some sort of inspo. There's a lot of things that you might like in life, but you might not like it all together. You get what I'm saying? I'm going in now with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer uh, to highlight, but I would highly suggest that you follow me on Instagram. That is where I have been sharing all of my home decorating series. I do want to move it over to uh, YouTube as well, but I do thoroughly enjoy uploading on Instagram. It's just quick and easy. Like you just, you get your picture right, you save it, you add your text, you upload it. YouTube is a little bit more work. I feel like wiping my entire face off and doing this over, but uh, the other part of me, a big part of me does not feel like going through that. So now I'm going in with Rich Chocolate, highlighting the outer parts just to make it the blend a little bit easier for me. But yeah, I've been heavily focused on decorating my apartment, making it feel more like home. I would recommend that to anybody, for real. If you are renting, you should not be waiting to decorate your place. The only thing that you should be waiting on is for your stuff to ship. That's it. But as far as you waiting like, oh, I just look up things later or something. No, girl, you better look up some stuff now because you blink and your lease is up. And you won't, you wouldn't even be able to live in the things that you purchased. So that's my suggestion if, you know, you are about to move in. Make sure. That's why a lot of people say to save up as much as you can. So that way you have things, you have money to be able to purchase the thing that you want as soon as you move in. Another topic that I wanted to talk about was social media and creating friendships out of social media. Now, I feel like my makeup look is going to come out better than I expected. And I'm excited. I have met some really dope people on Instagram. I've been very active on Instagram, like I said earlier. When I'm on social media, when I'm, you know, showing you all different things, I want you all to feel like you're sitting here with me or I want you all to feel as though you know me. Like, I want people to feel like they know me. You know, they have a sense of who I I am I want people to feel as though they they can see past just me doing makeup and fashion videos and things of that sort I feel like I can tell when somebody's being fake I know a lot of people can like no, nothing special about that you know nothing special about oh I can see when you're being fake and that's what makes me different like girl everybody knows somebody fake somebody fake you can't fake that there have been a few people on social media that I have grown to really thoroughly thoroughly enjoy first 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 person, gotta be my dog, Tam. I love Tam. I've never met her a day in my life, 
But like I said, oh, something's in my eye, Lord. Something's in my eye, Lord. Oh, Lord. She has this, oh my goodness, is it an eyelash? Tam, if you're watching this, girl, I obsessed with you, okay? Tam has this natural aura about her. It's like a fresh breath of air, fresh breath of realness. She's not the typical, oh my God, go ahead and purchase this today. Like, she'll sell you some stuff though, you know, just based off of her personality. Like, she'll make you want to go out and go to Target and be like, I got to get that Urban Skin RX that Tam was talking about. It's genuine personality that I can feel through screen. You get what I'm saying? It's not like I have to decode who she is as a person try to figure out like ooh, you know she is somebody who i am when i say 100 percent rooting for it's something still up my eye lord wow this is my first video back and it is just i'm just struggling oh my god i'm struggling i'm 100 percent rooting for this girl i hope she makes it okay i hope she makes it i hope that if she don't want to work as a nurse anymore she could work as a full-time influencer and get her bills paid and make more than she's making as a nurse Period. Moving right along. I would set my face, but the way my face is set up. Oh my gosh. Let's set it just real quick though. Real, when I say real quick, I mean real quick. I'm supposed to be, I'm just getting ready to go take pictures by myself. So. <laughs> I'm scared. Another person that I love so, so much is Danny Humayan. I believe that's how you pronounce her name, Humayan. I feel like she said her name so many times, her last name before so many times. Like, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm very, very ashamed. I hate saying people's name wrong. But I think it's Danny Humayan. Humayan? Humayan. Uh, but I love Danny. Danny is a wife based out of Canada. She's a wife, a mom, an educator, an influencer, a creator, a creative. She's just all of the above. And everybody that I'm talking about has a YouTube channel and I will leave them down in the description box below. She's just everything to me. She's my inspo, <laughs> my home decor inspo, her home. When I tell y'all her home is chef's kiss on another level. When I say she did that, she did that, okay? Did that. Love her. Going in with my foundation as a contour, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 375 Java. I've had this bottle for years. I don't even know why I still have it. I should be getting rid of it, but I'm not. I just hope that, you know, in 2021, Everybody gets what they deserve, whether it's good or bad. Be good to people. Good things will come to you. Good things will come to you. If you're bad to people, bad things will come to you, and it'll happen. It'll happen. How have y'all been? I hope y'all's holiday season was good. I hope that y'all got everything that y'all wanted. And to be honest with you, holidays and, like, buying gifts and stuff, I just don't, I don't ask for gifts. I'm just, I feel like I'm too grown to be like, oh, my God, this is my, I don't know. I just... Depending on who it is, I don't ask my family for gifts. We don't, that's just not, I feel like I don't do that. Like my boyfriend, he gonna have to give me a gift. Like that's off top. Like that's off rip. Like that's a given, okay? You gonna have to give me a gift, babe. Give me the gift. Give me the gift. But as far as like my mom and like asking my dad and you know, my sister, like, like it's just, I don't know how to explain it. For this year, I also want to expand my vocabulary vocabulary i want to learn new words and stop saying like <laughs> i want to give a tip now i don't know who's listening or who cares but i want to give a tip to content creators and people alike please stop over explaining i've done this before but i have learned that it doesn't matter let me explain what i mean by over explaining and why it doesn't matter okay when you're watching somebody and you're focused on something, like let's say you're focused on their outfit, right? You're focused on their outfit. They're, they're talking about their outfit, but then they stop and say, oh my gosh, excuse the stain on my shirt. Or they stop and say, excuse my nails. I wasn't even paying attention to that. But now you done brought it to my attention, now I'm looking. We have to stop being so self-conscious, like stop. Stop being hyper aware of things that are on you, things that are wrong with you. Okay, that's what I mean by stop over explaining. Sorry about my edges, you know, they're not laid, but I'm gonna get them laid later. And you know, I have my appointment booked for tomorrow at 6 a.m. to get my edges laid. Like, girl, we don't. I didn't care. I didn't even notice until you said something about it. And now I'm focused on that. If you're gonna get on your Instagram stories and it's late night or it's the weekend and you're home and your hair is not done or whatever, blah, 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 like, yeah, you could throw on a filter, but you don't have to come on camera and be like, excuse my appearance, y'all.
stop it. And like I said, I'm, I have been working on this and I find that it's stupid. I think it's so dumb. I've done it before. I've done it in the past, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to keep doing it. Like y'all going to get what y'all get. And that's on period. Like it's, it's just, I think it's crazy. And then if anybody was to ever be like, oh my gosh, girl, like DM you and be like, oh my gosh, you're your nails. They look crazy. Like block them. That's it. Block them. Just it. Like, what are we talking about now? <laughs> what are we even saying at this point? Like who really cares? Who cares? Don't sit, don't sit there and, and record something in a messy place and be like, oh, excuse the messy background, then you should have never showed the background. You should have just never showed it. You should have just never showed it. Because if you're gonna say sorry to me about it, why would you just why would you do it? Why would you why would you do it? Don't do it next time. Man. That's it. Alright, now I'm going to go in and bronze my face using the um, makeup revolution bronzer. Oh, I forgot to mention. So back in 2020, one of my Instagram reels went very viral. And when I say one of them, my very first Instagram reel went viral. As of today, it has over 785,000 views. And I believe close to maybe like 40,000 likes. Y'all, I did not expect that to happen. I definitely didn't expect that to happen. I didn't post a video for it to go viral. I just posted it because I thought it was funny and it was relatable. Off of that video, I think I gained over 1,000 followers based just off that one video. Oh, I also joined Clubhouse. Does anybody here have a Clubhouse? How do you feel about it if you do have Clubhouse? At first I was like, at first I was like, how do you even work this app? I feel like I just be getting old when it comes to new <laughs> new apps and stuff. But at first I was like, ooh, what, like, what's going on here? Because most of the rooms that were highlighted to me just weren't interesting at all. But you kind of have to go out and find them yourself. Follow the right people, follow the right clubs i guess i don't really know the technical word for it but you gotta have to follow the right clubs but you will learn a lot i was in this one room talking about instagram hacks and stuff like that all right i'm gonna go off camera real quick do my eyebrows probably add a little bit of shadow and then come right back i might just finish up the rest of my eye area i'll be right back okay so i'm done with my lashes i'm gonna tap some fenty beauty on it yeah, I like this shadow actually, it's very pretty. All this shadow is, is uh, Makeup Revolution's bronzer. That's it. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX look, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Abu Dhabi. And I'm going to plop that on my lips. I don't know if I like this liner. Using my Mario Badescu setting spray. All right, so I added a little bit of highlight on my face to make it pop. Oh, my, my face looks really freaking good. Uh-uh, girl, you did that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought the skin was giving dry, but it's not. It's giving dewy. It's giving luxury. It's giving... It's giving. I am about to go ahead and get started with my day. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Like I said, don't forget. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I hope you all enjoyed this video, like I said, and I will see you all in my next one.